let me show you the bukasi that I have uh, previously formulated. Hi guys, today I'm going to show you on how to make uh, an aerobic bukashi. So for full description of what is an anaerobic bukashi, you can uh, follow the link below or you can read at the description level, right? So the materials I'm going to use are three things. Alright, so the materials I'm going to use, I have uh, rice bran, uh, sawdust, and coffee ground. So the ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1. Alright, be sure to mix completely. So imas. We need more water. So, this is the right uh, moisture content, alright, when you squeeze, there's no drop of water that will flow here, at the same time when you squeeze, you'll form, you'll retain the form of your substrates, but then you, when you do like this, okay, it breaks so easily, that's the best moisture, right? 40 to 50 percent moisture only. Right? Then let's put back to our container. meant for two weeks. Let me show you the bukasi that I have uh, previously formulated. Here. Can you 
Can you see the white molds? <laughs> Those are our effective microorganisms. Right? And let me show you how I use this bokashi for my kitchen waste composting. This is my kitchen waste composter. See? Now, let me add more kitchen waste. For every one kilo of kitchen waste, you need only 100 grams of bokashi. Alright, so that's it. So I hope you're going to do this. Uh, it's a very good uh, fertilizer as well. Uh, Again, follow the link below uh, on how to make your own uh, aerobic and anaerobic bokashi. Okay? So, that's it for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. And, Tumsipu Yose Christo, Milele na Milele Amina. Be blessed, everyone. Bye, and keep safe.